Well, I will check the time in a minute. Oh, bright sunny day in winter. So let's go winter winter clear then. With snow on the ground, Tim. How's that grab you? I don't think I've ever made after let's have a look. I don't think I've ever done a winter clear. Be nice with the sun though. Uh there you go, Tim. Fifteen fifty seven, is that suit you? That's um that's one we've not done. That looks like we'll be setting off from Dagenham and heading out west there. Yep, there you go, mate. Sounds good to me as well, Tim. Let's let's have a do at this. Tell you what, before we do, mind you, we can set that off. I'll just check the uh, the status of the game we're streaming and stuff like that. Let's have a look what the score is. Uh, da, 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 train Sim World, there it is. It says we're streaming the right game anyway. You've just gone full screen. Nice, mate. We're on 1080p again tonight, uh, Tim. That's the way I'm going to be keeping it from now on, to be honest. Oh, look at that, Tim. Good choice, sir. Good choice. Bit of sunset going on there. Let me just make sure... We'll put that bloody brake on for the minute. Now, like I've said before, Tim, no rush here. Lorne will be having kittens if he uh, if he pops on and sees me at this already. Yeah, you've got a lot. Can you just see the sun over there, Tim? To the west, mate. So a typical late winter afternoon here. This looks great. I'll tell you something, Tim, we're going to do this again. A little bit later on in the year when it is winter. So if you have a look at what's going on here, mate. There's all these here, you see. Loads of carriages. And that is one long train, that. No wonder it takes round about uh, three miles to slow it down. If you're going full out at 75 miles an hour... Ultimately, you end up uh, having to put the brakes on around about three mile away. Hogbox, how you doing? Welcome back, mate. Hope you're well. Yeah, I'm not so bad, thanks, mate. I'm not so bad. I've been looking forward to uh, getting on this again this evening. Do a little bit more of this, and then we're going to be doing some Spider-Man. Let's just leave that on for a minute. Then we're going to be doing some Spider-Man of the... Uh, of a Friday night, tail lights on, headlights, let's have a look, night time, we'll leave them on daytime though, that's fine, uh, I've not been on this one for a little bit, but I do believe I need to get in the fuse box here, uh, there she is, Okay. You can actually con you can you can configure this to uh, restrict the speed on the train. It has you doing it on one of the scenarios, which is very very nice in my opinion. I like it. I'm just trying to remember where everything is. Right, that's fine. funny I've not driven this for about two weeks you just have to have a think for a minute <laughs> yeah we'll be doing some more spider-man again mate no doubt about it hot plate there for the pot noodle as well you see Friday night is spidey night mate yeah definitely we'll be doing some of that no doubt about it well let me get the lights off in the cab here we want the full atmosphere here Tim I'm wondering if the sun will have gone down by the time we get there so what I'm going to do here just to be a little bit of a, a bit of a show off. So 
So if I put direct brake, put the reverser into forward. That's released. That's released. Throttle into one, build up the amps a little bit. Yeah, we'll crack on with Spider-Man on uh, Friday night. Have a good do at that again. Y you've actually missed us doing this with the Snow Have You uh, hog box. Yeah, we'll have a bit of... We're going to go on to Somerset Railroad after I've... Uh, had a do at this. I just fancied having a blowout on the class 66 before I start. This will be a, a 30 mile run of this particular one. But we'll see how long it takes us because we're going to have to contend with the signals and stuff. See what I mean? That is one hell of a train. Got the 80 mile an hour speed limit coming up. Yeah, if we elevate the camera a little bit there, the sun is probably really dipping away now. Livery looks nice though on this as well. So we've got the 80 mile an hour speed limit in play now of course what happens is when you get to a certain point you've got to kind of wait until all the, the trains passed over before the speed limit kicks in so it's not just as the, the tip of the nose goes through the speed restriction you've got to wait for the, for the rest of it as well so we're on a green light anyway yeah, I just fancied a quick blowout on this. Yeah, nice, uh, nice choice this, Tim. It looks really, really nice. Just want to check something. I'm just going to coast for a second. No, oh, we're all right. Let's get the power back on. Yeah, what happened last night, Hogbox, was um, I put the blizzard on on the uh, Somerset track. 
and the game crashed on me. So when I came on, I just had a mess around for a couple of minutes and then knocked it on the head because it got to 10 o'clock and I needed to be uh, up and about this morning quite early. I would love to have streamed to uh, a little bit later, but I couldn't, unfortunately. We'll do that today, though. Oh, box, we'll do that today. We'll do a scenario in the snow if we can on the uh, Somerset line. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't carry on with it then after that. <laughs> well, it's funny, Tim, because I was at a red light last night in the game on one of the scenarios and I asked for permission to pass and it said yeah you can pass at restricted speed right and that's when Matt had just come in and I said I'm a bit confused here because it's still showing a red light it's it's not giving me any indication that this is safe really and he said you should be able to pass I said should I said if it fails me I want my money back <laughs> well you've just watched it have you buddy now nah, fair enough mate See what I mean? Oh, we've gone on green again there. We had a, a yellow light initially. Yeah, you'd have to have a cup of Oxo with you on a run like this in winter. damn thing coming then I'll tell you what's pretty cool Tim when you're going into service mode on this if you uh, select to spawn on foot it basically uh, puts you in the game at roughly about around the the real time if you will We're on a double yellow there, but I'm slowing down. In general, it's uh, it's double yellow, single yellow, red. So I'm just heeding the warning here. Yeah, we've got a single yellow light here. Now this is probably because I set off quite late. And what's happened is, that train that's overtaking us may end up on this line further down. So we're, we're having to uh, give it a bit of space, basically. just coast up to this as we are now see if it clears we get a little bit closer we'll uh, we'll have to stop obviously hey Vam good evening I hope you're well mate oh go on city skyline for five pounds that is a bargain, mate. Absolute bargain. That is a really good game, that. So we're still on the red here. There you go, we're on the yellow now. Is 
It's a single yellow. See the other sir. Oh, sorry guys, I'm just hitting me uh, my microphone there. The other services are getting on about their business all around us. So depending on where we are at what time, so on and so forth, affects those services that will dynamically alter around you, you see. Yeah, Tubbs there, Arthur Daly of the channel. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it, Tim? And I know that one of the updates recently was terraforming that they introduced to it. So you could all actually alter the landscape, etc. I haven't been on it for a long time. I got it on me uh, on my Xbox One. I've not been on it for a while. I'm just going to coast through here. Again, just erring on the side of caution here with the uh, with the signals at the moment. We're going to get a warning in a second or two. There's the trip, I think, as it passes under. Oh no, we've gone on green anywhere. We're on green now. Maybe a yellow after this green again. We'll just be like catching the lights up. Yeah, see, that'll be a double yellow now. Yeah, cities, well, like a lot of games, you know, you start playing them before you know what's happened. Four hours has passed in the blink of an eye. This in particular was quite frightening last night, how that happened. Mr. T. Too many Mr. T's on Twitch. <laughs> Double yellow there, you see. Coming up to a single yellow again. Now this is where this route could take longer than what you think, because if we're having to contend with yellow lights all the time, we're having to restrict our speed. The thing is, uh, Tim, as well with cities, it's funny really because you can actually get down, can't you, uh, to street level and monitor individual people living in the city. A bit like uh, Sim City, you know, seeing what they're up to and stuff, where they work, a little bit of history about them and all that kind of malarkey. Yeah, there's the only way to hit emergency brake on this is to actually hit the bloody switch. There it is. Emergency brake valve. Having to slow right down. Christ almighty, I've run this many a times and I've just been straight through all the way at full speed. But then again, we've picked a busier part of the day. We picked, uh, it was around about 15.47 when we set off. <laughs> Tubbs there with his Mr. T impression.
And Tubbs, that uh, Dragon Quest 11 was very nice. What I saw earlier on. Again, just dipping in and out of it there. With uh, working and stuff like that. But I, I enjoyed what I saw. And that uh, day and night cycle looks brilliant. Hiya Stan, good evening again, I hope you're well, thanks for stopping by. Tutorial on Great Western Railroad and this world scenario and I'm loving it. Oh brilliant, there you go you see, fantastic mate, fantastic. We're just on the Great Western Express at the moment Stan, just decided to have a bit of a blowout before we go on Somerset. So we're on the Class 66 now, this is one of my favourite trains at the moment. really neat this is it so Tim picked the scenario here the conditions and stuff and if I just show you quite a long train really this what you've got to bear in mind here Stan is if you're going flat out in this damn thing at 75 mile an hour you need to give yourself a good three miles to stop at the uh, the location that you're uh, getting to there you go huge train <laughs> yeah well this is it isn't it Tubbs we all recommend the games to each other we're all of a similar flavour on this, on these games and stuff. We all kind of bounce off each other. Otherwise, we won't be watching each other on Twitch so much, I don't think. 21 miles to go here still. But the thing is as well, Stan, there's all kinds of stuff to get used to in the game. Up behind us here, there's a fuse box. And I had to pop that open to turn on the advanced warning system there because we wanted to use that you see there's all kinds of switches to mess around with up here and stuff lighting and all that kind of malarkey but I like it get your lights on your dials here and stuff computer above the screen there that you can mess around with absolutely brilliant thanks for the horse tubs <laughs> yeah that's it it's very dangerous is twitch very very dangerous for roping you into uh, a game you've really got to try and discipline yourself see like i said to you tubs are you getting uh, the somerset dlc you said you're going to wait a little bit are you going to get tomb raider you're waiting well, i'm getting tomb raider for christmas So there's a little bit of discipline crept in there, Tobbs. But I'm really made up that, that uh, Stan's downloaded it and he's enjoying it. That's what it's all about. And again, Stan, if there's anything you're not so sure about, a lot of fun in this game is sussing stuff out and getting used to it, you know. Like I say, the scenarios actually teach you a lot about how to operate the trains. But if you get stuck or anything, give us a shout. I don't know the answer, I'll make something up and uh, lead you down the garden path. No, we've got a 40 mile an hour speed limit coming up here. Central's putting me onto the slow line. I 
I can't believe that it's not that long now off Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out. Christ almighty. And I'll tell you something as well, Tubbs. I've got the dovetail game, uh, fishing game, in my Amazon wish list for Christmas. Treating myself to a bit of that, I think. Let's get on the automatic brake here and slow myself down a little bit. 40 mile an hour in a mile. That speed's nicer coming down now. That was funny, what I nearly said on the live stream the other week. I was blazing away at 75 mile an hour on this train. And I, I nearly said, <laughs> one for the outtakes really, I nearly said, uh, one thing you've got to bear in mind with this game is, when you try and stop this train at 75 mile an hour, it's like trying to stop a freight train. <laughs> Crazy. it's going to move me across onto the other line or whether it'll just keep me on this you see where line branches off to the right now just a bit further down I, again I'm not you know I don't no it's just a slower part of the line that we're, we're ending up on here Yeah, there you go, it's moving me over now. We're going to be able to do 125 mile an hour shortly. Once all them carriages are clear, we're going to be able to bust up the throttle here. miles left to do. There you go. Let's stretch our legs. Oh really? Do you know something uh, Tubbs? The, the, the thing is at the end of the day um, Dovetail make a game called Flight Sim World don't they? And they brought Train Sim World to console the fishing game is is out. Is it this week or next week? So that's another positive. If they bring flight sim world, I'll be uh, chomping at the bit to get that. And a helicopter one would be absolutely awesome as well. There's a, there's a guy uh, I follow on Twitch from Norway, I think Van follows him as well, I'm not so sure if you do as well Tobbs, uh, called uh, Gelbril. And uh, he's been playing the Microsoft Flight Sim over the past few days. He didn't realise that he hadn't got uh, auto save switched on. And the game crashed on him yesterday, he had a window pop up on PC saying the game has stopped working. And basically, he'd lost all his flight time on that particular session which were a few hours he'd been at it since first thing in morning and this were mid afternoon and he was streaming it again today and I said is there no auto save on this I said because like with train sim world I'm the kind of person who likes to do the job in one run you know rather than save it and then come back to it or save it and then reload if something goes wrong I won't do that but, you know, even on this, if you stop at a station, it might be worth you saving your game, where you're up to, just in case it crashes. 
then you can carry on from where you were up to, you see. Especially with a game like Flight Sim or something like that. Jesus, you can lose hours. Listen to that. Clattering along. Yeah, is that what it is, Tim? Either way, mate, I'll be all over it if they bring it to console. There's no reason why they can't. You know, some people might say, well, the controls might not be great. We're using a pad and but it's all right on this, you know, looking around and pushing your buttons and stuff. I'd be happy with it. Yeah, Tubbs, I've seen a video of that. Not long after I had to get rid of my VR, I saw a video on that. And it looks pretty neat. So in another 15 miles here, guys, we're going to be going on to Somerset. Let's have some of my drink here while we're flying. Let's keep an eye on the signals. start bringing that speed down now if we've got a red light this should be a double yellow this I need to give myself plenty of time to slow down here otherwise we could end up blowing a red light it's got me it's got me working here today it's got me working working for a living on the railway today Double yellow, single yellow coming up in a mile. We're on the automatic brake here. Building the pressure back up. There you go. Nice. Pressure back into the brakes. This isn't tubs, no, mate. This, I just fancied a blowout on the Class 66. We'll be on Somerset shortly, buddy. Well, that's what I said, Tubbs. Um, you know, I, obviously, we'll be, be streaming this well through into winter and everything. So we'll be doing a few runs like this to reflect what's going on outside. And what, what I want everybody to do, if we're going to be picking uh, a summer run, make sure you've got your radiator on. If we're going to be picking a run like this, everybody has to turn the heating off and open up the window and <laughs> let all the cold air in. Yeah, it's just nice and moody, this. Tim picked it, uh, Tubbs, to be honest with you. I said, can you just pick us some uh, weather conditions? He said he wants a clear winter day. Snow on the ground and frost and snow on the trees. I remember once doing this run at a different time and uh, I had it balanced so right. I think I was around about 60 mile an hour and I just kept tripping through the lights. They just kept turning to green as we were getting close to them. We watched the Polar Express at weekend great film not watched it for a bit and I think because I've not seen it for a while I really enjoyed it single yellow guys we're on a red we're on a red again here
Yeah, we normally do uh, tubs and uh, Disney's Christmas Carol as well. Now I've got both Polar Express and Christmas Carol in 3D as well. Stunning 3D films. We actually watched it in 2D the other night. Because I've not used the 3D glasses for that long, the batteries have gone in them. So they both need uh, charging up both pairs. And I've got two Spider-Man films here to watch in old tubs that I've never ever seen. Um, so from the, you know, when they rebooted it in the early 2000s, was it Tobey Maguire who's in them? I've, I've not seen the third one and I've got it as part of the uh, Blu-ray box set here. And the newer ones, the Amazing Spider-Man, I've not seen the second one. So I'm going to have to watch those in light of uh, the games being out. Or the game being out, sorry. Yeah, so I've not seen the third one in them Tobey Maguire ones, Tim. And I've not seen the second one as part of the uh, the reboot, if you will, again. Got them on the shelf here. I don't know if anyone can recall me doing a run on this a few weeks ago where basically uh, I had to stop at a red light and it had me sat there for 10 minutes. Because there was other stuff going on. No, I, I have no interest in that Nightmare Before Christmas whatsoever. I just don't like the look of it. I reckon that could be the case. We're on a red light there. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, Tim, no sweat, mate. Enjoy your food. Yeah, you like that, Tim? Nice, mate. Just taking it very, very slowly here. Part and parcel of the game for you. Like I say, sometimes you get a straight run through depending on how quickly you've set off and how quickly you've got your train prepped, etc. Other times you're having to go at it a little bit slower like this. Basically, if we overshoot the red light, it's it's game over. It's as simple as that. Tim, where are you, mate? Look at this one. starting to see the stars in the sky as well. Oh, we're on a yellow light now. And a 40 mile an hour speed limit coming up as well. <laughs> Thought you might like that, Tim. It's great, isn't it, mate? It's great. 
Tim, I had a, a gluten-free pepperoni ham and mushroom pizza for my tea. Good fellas. And basically, I put some Frank's hot sauce on as well. Oh, dear me. Absolutely gorgeous, mate. Is this going to be a single yaller again? Not very nice, mate. And to be honest with you, Tim, what I've found is that if I have too much bread and stuff like that, it, uh, or if I have a beer, my bloody belly blows up like a football, so I'm trying to stay ahead of the game, basically, because my me, uh, me father had celiac later on in his life. So I'm just trying to behave myself a little bit now. Got the 90 mile an hour speed limit coming back again here. Look at this, it's shifting me right over again. Central's having a bloody laugh today. Switching lines like an idiot switching lanes on the M6. I'll tell you what a nice from Aldi, um, Tim. The uh, chicken Caesar pasta salad, though, very nice. It's got the feeling they've shifted us out the way again here, you see. Hey, I'll tell you something, Tubbs. Um, I got the uh, the Superman box set on Blu-ray, the Chris Reeve uh, movies. So one to the Diabolical Four. And I've got to say, mate, the first one, when I put it on with the uncompressed audio um, and just the sound and everything like that, the, and how good the picture was, I had goosebumps most of the way through the movie. It was brilliant. One of those things that makes you feel like a kid again. Reminds me of Christmas time. We're getting a pack of five blank scotch tapes from Asda with my dad. So we, we can record the films that are on over Christmas. Always Superman and Star Wars and Indiana Jones. and Digby, the biggest dog in the world. Sinbad movies. Jason and the Argonauts, Moby Dick, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. There were all the usual suspects around about Christmas time. Ooh, nice, Tim. Look at him, he's on a stop, though. He's on a stop. So once I've got this out of my system tonight, in another 10 miles, we'll be getting the Somerset DLC fired up. Have a look at doing a uh, scenario. We'll do the one that buggered up on us last night, I think. Can't remember if it was a scenario, whether I was in uh, 
service mode actually. We're doing a run to the sun here, heading west. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Tubbs. It, we were all there when we were kids, weren't we? It's like the... Uh, it's like the reveal at the end of Empire Strikes Back if you'd never had it spoiled for you. You know, it just, it blows you away. There's too many videos on YouTube now where people are supposedly reacting to that for the first time. And the people that are bloody my age, Tim, I can't believe that people have gone that far through life and never realised that that's the case regarding Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. I think a lot of it's put on. But when you see the young kids being secretly recorded, watching Star Wars and that reveal comes along it's absolutely priceless now I'm coasting again here guys pure and simple because if you look at the top right hand side of the screen we've got a yellow signal coming up in a mile so it should be a double yellow Nice part of the track this, nice and wide and nice and straight, uphill by 0.1%. Now I'm going to start applying some automatic brake here, just slow us down a little bit. Because like I say, in general it's 75 mile an hour on this train with the length of it and what we're carrying and everything, the sheer weight. I usually like to give myself a good 3 miles to slow down. And, and again, Tubbs, just going back there to that, that little bit of a story you just shared with us, the classic one with uh, my mum and dad would have been when I was six years old and I watched Jaws with them for the first time. And uh, you know when they catch the, tag, the tiger shark and they've got the tiger shark hung up on the dock? Well, apparently, I vaguely remember, it, I vaguely remember getting up off the couch and my dad saying to me, what are you doing? And I said, uh, I, I really enjoyed that film, Dad. And he said, oh, no, 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 it's not finished yet. <laughs> there was much more excitement to come. We've got a 40 mile an hour speed limit coming up anywhere. Look at the moon in the distance there, guys. It is a new moon as well, actually. I was just wondering if that's just fluke or whether that's actually in alignment with uh, with our new moon actually. I think the toenail's on the wrong side actually. I think the toenail should be on the uh, on the right hand side there. Rather than the left hand side.
Uh, Brad Gooner, thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciated. I hope you're well and thanks for stopping by today. We're going to be doing some of the Somerset DLC shortly. So uh, stick around for that. I just fancied coming on the Class 66 first thing this evening. Just to kind of have a bit of a blowout and get it out of the system. Because I do like this train. I like running this route. Tim decided to pick a clear win today. And uh, we set off. Christ, we set off an hour ago, I think. Yeah, we set off an hour ago. We'll get the stats at the end anyway. It'll tell us what we've been up to. We've had to stop, or more or less stop, a couple of times now for the lights and everything. So we've got the uh, the 40 mile an hour speed limit in a mile. I could get the speed back up a little bit here, but I'm, not, I'm just going to leave it at this. Just going to bob along at 40. No time limit on this particular run. You're joking, Tubbs. That's ridiculous, that, mate. And, yeah, surprisingly, I did respond to you earlier on. I went back and checked my stream. The music is playing away in the game, and that seemingly pop music thing that's like at the Halloween party that you go to is playing in the background as well. It's not been uh, trimmed out. Bring that back down to 40 mile an hour with that. We're on a single yaller again. Oh no, we're alright now. Still on the 40 mile an hour speed limit though. Just wind this engine up a little bit. moved us over again, Christ almighty we've been all over this track is it going to put us over on the left again here it is the fast line so four miles to go here so if I were going flat out at 75 mile an hour in this train like we have done before you'd be looking at wanting to get on the brakes and slow it down at around about three miles away just to be safe basically um, you'd certainly want to be coasting now anywhere at 75 mile an hour take the power off and then get on the brakes as you get below three miles That's crazy, that, isn't it, Tubbs? So, if you think about it, Tubbs, was it was it this time last week people were wondering what were going to be happening? Was there going to be a downgrade? Was, you know, everybody were getting a little bit excited? Was it going to be a load of rubbish? Was it going to live up to the hype? In my opinion, it's absolutely fantastic. Like I was saying, the swinging mechanism just has so much intricacy to it. It's not just a case of you swing past the building and that's it. Depending on where you're anchored onto a building, depending what momentum you've got going, depends on how fast you're swinging and how, how much optimum height you can get if you want to flick off and start doing some gymnastics in the air, you know what I mean? reminds me I need to watch runaway train in a couple of weeks might leave it till first week in December actually watch it just before Christmas
So we're talking around about two and a half miles away now. Now that advance warning then wasn't for anything in particular. I think because you're getting close to uh, the station, it's just kind of making sure that nobody's collapsed in the cab or something like that. Because if you don't respond to that advanced warning system, basically the train shuts down, comes to a standstill in plenty of time. Two miles away, we'll be finishing on a red light, so this is what it'll be doing now, it'll be bringing me down through these... Uh, through these lights. But yeah, this will have taken us over an hour, this run. It's funny because I think I've done this in round about half an hour in the past. It'll bring us down to about 30 now. one was for the signal, double yellow, single yellow, and then it'll be a red at the station to finish off. I mean, I've not watched any um, reviews of it, Tubbs, just to avoid spoilers and stuff like that. But what kind of scores has it been getting? Surely it's been getting 9 out of 10 and stuff like that. I'd imagine even IGN will have had to have scores to a bloody 9 out of 10. Or is it a classic case of 6 out of 10? Too much web. Ah, right, okay, tops. Yeah, we want to avoid the spoilers, mate. Another warning there as well. You got the 30 mile an hour speed limit coming up anywhere. You've got to be pretty careful here when you're stopping this train because if you manage to come in here too fast, you're just going to hit that red light and. Uh, fail straight away basically tell you what's nice when you're running one of the other trains and then you see this train doing its run on this service at this time all the other trains you see knocking around are all the other services you can get involved in they're all on the timetable, all on the schedule. Stroy, <laughs> Stroy, I've sent that to Tubbs and Vam and a few people. Very, very, very funny that video, mate.
Oh, I've stopped too soon. Oh, that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take 59 minutes and 32 seconds to do 31.63 miles. Only level 4 on the class 66, though. 